Welcome back in another video. In the last video I showed you how you can calculate ND NDVI in a specific place using Landsat 8 images and also how you can plot the true color composite and also the false color composite. Um, if you haven't watched that video I'll put the link in the description. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the coming videos. And also if you are enjoying the, these videos please subscribe to the channel and also leave the comment in the section um, uh, about what the other topics you like me to cover. So in this video we are going to calculate the normalized difference water index of Lake Nakuru and we shall also see how Lake Nakuru has been changing in the past few years uh, since 2015 to 2023. Now uh, the first thing as I showed you in the last video, you need to actually uh, highlight or draw the shape of the polygon that you want. So as here you can see we have the the stop drawing if you started drawing. So the first thing is stop drawing. The second icon is you can add marker. The next one is draw a line then draw a shape uh, and also you can draw a rectangle. So for me I'm going to draw um i'm going to draw to draw a shape so i'll come here to the place where i want to extract my polygon so i can place my cursor there and draw up to that point then uh, also up to there like that so as you can see this is my polygon and it covers some areas uh, within the county and also the lake because I want to calculate the water index of this lake. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see. Yeah, I think up to that level. Then I think I can I can stop that and also minimize this so that we can see the code clearly. I'm going to rename this as uh, Nakuru, I can say Nakuru underscore image like that. So this is a polygon which has four vertices as you can see uh, the coordinates are there and we have five elements. Yeah, so starting from index 0 to 5. Okay now the next thing is to search here in the search engine Landsat 8 and make sure you go with uh, the Landsat 8 collection 2 tier 1. So click on that one. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to copy you copy this link. So collection snippet when you scroll down you can see collection snippet and then ee dot image collection then the image collection we are using. So make sure you copy that link. You can see the link is copied. You can close that. Now here in the code editor, here we are going to write, um, uh, you can paste that code. So control V and then we are going to store in a variable. So Google at engine uses JavaScript. So I say var, I can say data set. Um, data set, I can say um, Nakuru underscore data set. Then I say equal to ee dot image collection, then lands at eight tier one. Okay, now if you try to print out this data set, so print nakuru underscore uh, data set. Uh, let us see what we get here. So make sure you save. So click on save. Hopefully it is saving. So it is saved, then you can click on run. So you wait until uh, the code is executed. So here in the console, uh, we can wait to see the printed information about the image collection of our Landsat. Sometimes it can be too big and um, now Google Earth Engine cannot process all the images. 
as you can see it's, it tells us that collection query aborted after accumulating over 5000 elements so within our image collection we have more than or over 5000 elements so what we need to do is maybe try to filter out some of the elements so here you can say uh, dot filter filter so i think the first thing we can filter bounds so that we specify i think the places that we are now so filter bounds then here we are going to say um nakuru underscore image so we want the place we are or our polygon so we are when you when when you print the data set it prints the landsat 8 tile that covers that area that you selected so this is a whole tile of the landsat image now when you say filter bounds it means you are filtering within the polygons that you want so it says filter bounds nakuru image then the next thing we can also say dot filter uh, dot filter debt so this one we are going to input the debt of our the range of the data that we want so here you can say uh, from 2015 so i say 2015 uh, hyphen uh, january hyphen uh, date first then we are going up to 2023 dash or hyphen uh, june hyphen 30th so we are going up to 30th june 2023 then the next thing before that you can try to print out on the console to see if you can get something after filtering with these two properties so you save and then click on run so i don't think if we will get the error so here you can see we are getting something on the console and it says now the list is 189 elements so from 5000 or over 5000 elements now we have at least 189 elements so we can continue with filter so here i can say filter uh, metadata filter met metadata then here i can say cloud cover so i say cloud underscore cover um then i want the cloud less than less than less than that is less than 10 percent we can say that so we are filtering the cloud cover so we want the place to have at least less than 10 percent cloud cover so if i save this so click on save and uh, it saves then run so as it runs it is printing out our data set so here you can see we try to check we have now 59 elements just because we filtered out the cloud cover less than 10 percent now we have 59 elements with uh, cloud cover less than less than 10 percent okay now i think the next thing is now to select the bands that we are going to use to calculate our ndwi so here i can say i can put a comment and say select uh, bands select bands for calculating uh, ndwi so this is um, normalized no normalized this normalized difference uh, water index or we can say uh, ndwi so down here i can say um the name of our data set that is nakuru underscore data set dot select dot select and we are going to select band 5 to calculate ndwi you need band 5 and band 
band 3 so that that is near infrared and blue okay again we can store these in a variable so i can say var i can say image select image underscore select underscore one equal to nakuru underscore data set dot select band five and band three okay now here you can also print out so you can say print um image select one so control c control v like that then you can save and then run the code so here you can try to visualize what we are getting mm -hmm. so you can see it saying image collection computing hopefully it will print out something on the console Yeah, hopefully everything is working. Now we can proceed to the next um, thing. And now uh, here we can, I think here now we are supposed to calculate now the NDWI uh, using the function. So you know in JavaScript you have to say function. So the function and then the function name so you can say function I can store this function in a variable so that instead of uh, calling the function we can just call the variable so that we include at least many properties in the function so I can say var uh, ndwi underscore calculate so calculate underscore ndwi equal to the function and the function has a function body like that in here we need to pass in the image as our argument then inside the function you need to say var uh, ndwi equal to then the image that we passed in the function so i say image dot normalized normalized difference normalized difference then i pass in the the bands so i can say these are list of bands so band 5 band 5 and also band 3 so this is band 5 so band 5 and band 3 then here i can say dot rename uh, the rename function is going to rename the is going to rename the layer so i say ndwi so when we run this code just as we have layers in arcgis or qgis the same way so this becomes the layer name the our map here okay the next thing now is to here i come and say image so i say image uh, equal to the image that we have in the function dot add bands so we are adding the bands to the image so here i can say the bands that we selected above here so we say add ndwi so ndwi because this is the variable that has the bands that we have uh, selected and also calculated the difference the water index difference water index so this is the function that we use to calculate just the same as we used in the previous video to calculate the normalized difference vegetation index so it is just the same way the difference is the bands that we are using now down here I can say now return this should be lowercase so down here I say return image yeah like that now we move outside the function and we say um, 
we can save this so control s and then you can try to run so you run the function let's see maybe we have some errors so we need to run the function so no errors it means the function is okay the next thing now is to to run the map function on every band in the image that we've just selected so here we say um image so this this image the bands you can copy that and down here you can say control v then you say image select underscore one then dot map so this is the map function it means it is going to loop through the bands that we have and run the ndwi function on each and every band that we have in the in the image okay so here we are running the function so you can copy the function and put inside this map function or the map method then you need to store this in a variable so you say var uh, you can say image i can say image uh, image underscore select underscore two equal to image select one dot map then the function okay the next thing after the function runs then we can print you can say print uh, image select two so you copy that uh, come here and paste it I think we can try to run this so make sure you save and then run mm -hmm. so it is computing okay yeah now everything is fine The next thing is um i think now we need to select the the image so we need to say var uh, ndwi uh, underscore images equal to this one equals to the image select so this one image select two dot now select uh, ndwi after that we can also print you can say print uh, ndwi images so control v then make sure you save and also try to run this okay uh -huh. so all the print statements the first one is here this is the second one the third and the fourth now the next thing is to define the visualization parameters because now we are going to start visualizing the map or the image so here you can say mm, define visualization parameters then down there i can say um bar then water palette should be a single l equals to this is an object and uh, this one takes the minimum zero then the maximum um can say something like one no, I think this one should be negative one. The next one is um, 
now the the color palette so palette this one is going to be a list of colors and the colors are white so you can say white and the next one is blue like that you can you can put a comma there then we also make sure you put a semicolon just in case so the next thing is now the visualization parameters themselves here we have just defined so then now we need to pass them uh, in an object so here i can say variable no i need to say visualization visualization parameters oops like that is this parameters okay so i can say var i can say um this visualization visualization underscore parameters equal to an object and here you can say the minimum is zero comma maximum is um one and now the palette is um we pass in the colors i think this is just the same thing as we have done up there i don't know why am i repeating but anyway can just continue here so here we need a list of colors and so you can have um zero 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 ff then the next one is um i think the white and this is fff uh ff f then put a comma there now the next thing is now the visualization itself so i can say uh, this should be a comment and say visualization yeah, okay now we need to add to the map so i can say map dot add layer and in here we need to pass in our image so ndwi images we need to pass there control v then comma and i think we can also calculate the median so say median oops this is this should be median then we can also clip so we can say dot clip and you want to clip uh we want to clip we want to clip the image i think we need to clip our image so our polygon this one clip nakuru image then after that we need to put a comma there then we also want to include the water palette i think i can also copy so that i don't get any errors Control v and now again give it a name as ndwi okay so i think we can now save this and run so save and run this uh, hopefully it prints out something or it adds something to the map <coughs> so here you can see we have the ndwi is the name you just put it there as the layer and now here we can see we can visualize our image 
and then because the changes are so small that we cannot even see the changes clearly i think we need to have a chart so a chart will show us the how the lake has been changing in the past years so here you can um, uncheck this then come here try to see yeah you can see there are some changes though they are very very small you cannot clearly see what is happening <coughs> okay now i think we need to create a chart after we added the map to the layer so i can put a comment and say mm, create a chart create a chart for visualization visualization <clears throat> And here we need to use the median NDW. So down there, I can say UI UI dot chart dot image dot series then we pass in the parameters. So I say image collection image collection is our ndw images so control c that one then you can say dot select uh, we are selecting ndwi then put a comma then the next the next parameter is um, the region you can say region say re region and the region is um, our image this one our polygon so copy that paste then comma then reduce uh, we can say e, e dot reduce uh, dot median this is this is going to pick the median of the ndw and then we can also give the scale let's say the scale is 30. okay then down there we can say now set options set options as um so you set the options I think this one should be dot dot set options and down there we can have the title the title as um the title should be a string you can say median uh median ndwi for oops for like for like nakuru then we can say since here we can say since 2015 to 2023 okay the next one is um horizontal axis so h axis uh, here we can say the title you can say the title dot no the title should be uh, here should be here or month okay comma then the vertical axis should have also the title as title title oops, title and here we can say ndwi so you are plotting ndwi against the year or month 
okay so i think up to that point up to this point uh, we need now to print our ui chart but i need to store this in a variable so i need to say var uh, ui underscore chart equal to this you can make this your own name it's just a variable name and i can say now uh, i can say ndwi and nd ndwi chart then i paste in the title this should be inside this okay so up to here now we can save the code click on save and then you can run the code so this is going to print the should print the chart but it says cannot read property of image of undefined okay now let us see mm -hmm. cannot read property of image of undefined so maybe there is a problem somewhere so i think the chart should be the capital so chart oops yeah i think it should be ui dot chart chart should be capital or the first letter should be uppercase dot image dot series now let me try to save this and uh, now run the code again hopefully now it prints out something on the console yeah now here you can see we have the chart and this shows the variation from 2015 january 2015 to 2023 the variation or the how the lake has been changing in the water index you can also click on this icon to enlarge the graph yeah now this is what i wanted to show you in this video and uh, hopefully you've learned something if you've enjoyed please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also leave a like to the video thank you and i'll see you next time